I know that as Caribbean people, we are close to our Caribbean brothers and sisters, and we want to assist. It is important that we do so in a highly coordinated way so that we are as efficient as possible and bring in really the best of the region to support our neighbors at a very difficult time. So with respect to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we have received guidance from the government uh, for an express preference for cash donations. Cash donations, I want to emphasize this. The account details are available to you and I believe we will be showing those on screen um, sometime during the press conference, but we will also make these available via the Sedima social media sites as well as our website and distribu distribute through the islands, through the channels of our national emergency management <coughs> coordinators. With respect to the government of Grenada, they have advised that they will accept cash contributions and uh, they will be publishing the bank account information where these cash donations can be placed as soon as we have that information available at the coordinating unit. Similarly, we'll, we will be publishing it on our social media sites and also on our websites and distributing through our participating states via our national emergency management coordinators as well. In addition, uh, the government of Grenada has advised that a needs list has been published. It, we understand it was published this morning and that the government will be accepting contributions based on items in the needs list only. And I wish to emphasize this. It is very important that if you are providing support to the government of Grenada, it must be with respect to items that appear on the needs list. Now, across the Sedima participating states, as you know, we work as a system. So our national emergency management coordinators in each of the Sedima participating states will be the focal points for facilitation and coordination of any relief items which are to be sent for the government of Grenada.